Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Scientista. Please like, subscribe, and share. Our topic is about reproductive system. Male and female reproductive system is a collection of internal and external organs in both males and females that work together for the purpose of procreate. These are the following objectives. Let us review the different parts and function of male reproductive system. Now, let us review the different parts and functions of female reproductive system. Do you know what is puberty? Puberty is when a child's body begins to develop and change as they become an adult. The girls develop breasts and start their periods. The boys develop a deeper voice and facial hair will start to appear. Now let us discuss the role of hormones in female and male reproductive systems. First we have the pituitary gland. They control the functions of the testes. Production of sperm cells and release of the semen can be regulated by the hormone. The pituitary gland also controls the functions of ovaries. The follicles produce hormones that control the growth and release of eggs from the ovaries. Now, let us talk about your hormones. When we say hormones, they are chemical messengers, they travel in your bloodstream to tissues or organs, they work slowly over time and affect many different processes including growth and metabolism, sexual function, reproduction, and it also affects your mood. Hypothalamus and pituitary gland control the functions of both the testes and ovaries. They keep the reproductive system properly functioning. These are the following hormones of the reproductive system. First, we have the gonadotropin-releasing hormone or GnRH. They are released from nerve cells in the brain. They control the production of luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone from the pituitary gland. Another one is the luteinizing hormone or LH. In women, LH helps control the menstrual cycle. It also triggers the release of an egg from the ovary. In men, luteinizing hormone assists in spermatogenesis and production of testosterone in the test. Another one is the follicle stimulating hormone or FSH. In women, it stimulates the growth of ovarian follicles in the ovary before the release of an egg from one follicle at ovulation. It also increases estradiol production. In men, FSH helps control the production of sperm. Now, let us discuss the different hormones in males. First, we have the androgens. Androgens are steroid secrets by the testes which are responsible for the maintenance of male characteristics and behavior. Another one is testosterone. Testosterone is responsible for male sexual secondary characteristics. They also induce spermatogenesis, strengthening of the voice, development of facial, axillary, and pubic hair, and the beginnings of the sex drive. Now, let us discuss your female hormones. First, we have the estrogen. Estrogen helps in endometrial growth, ovulation, and calcium absorption. They are also responsible for the secondary sexual characteristics of females. Another one is the progesterone. Progesterone helps with endometrial regrowth and inhibition of the release of FSH and LH. 
Next, we have the FSH or follicle stimulating hormone. They stimulate the development of egg cells or ova that develop in follicles. Follicle cells produce a hormone inhibitor that inhibits the production of FSH. Another one is the luteinizing hormones or LH. It plays a role in the development of ova, induction of ovulation, and stimulation of ovarian production of estradiol and progesterone. Estradiol and progesterone. They are steroid hormones that make the body ready for pregnancy. Estradiol produces secondary sex characteristics in females, while estradiol and progesterone control the menstrual cycle. Now let us discuss about the feedback mechanisms. Feedback mechanisms are the general mechanisms of nervous or hormonal regulation. Here is an example of the positive and negative feedback in our reproductive system. In menstrual cycle, positive feedback occurs during days 12 to 14, while negative feedback occurs over most of the cycle. Now let's try to answer this. Identify the type of hormone being described and which gender they belong. The hormone that stimulates the growth of ovarian follicles. The correct answer is follicle stimulating hormone, which is found in females. Next, hormone that is secreted by the corpus luteum and assists in endometrial degrowth, inhibition of FSH and LH release. The correct answer is progesterone, which is found in female. The hormone that changes the empty follicle into the corpus luteum. The correct answer is luteinizing hormone, which is found in female. The hormone secreted by the ovarian follicle. The correct answer is estrogen, which is also found in female. Next, it controls the production of luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone from the pituitary gland. The correct answer is gonadotropin-releasing hormone or GN GNRH which is found both in male and female. Next, the hormones that produce secondary sex characteristics and control the menstrual cycle. The correct answer is estradiol which is found in female. Next, hom hormone responsible for the maintenance of male characteristics and behavior. The correct answer is Androgens, which is found in male. Next, hormone responsible for male sec sexual secondary characteristics induces spermatogenesis during puberty. The correct answer is testosterone, which is found in males. Based on what you have learned, answer the following questions. Hormone that causes latex cells to make testosterone. Which hormone causes FSH and LH to be released? Which hormone aids in endometrial growth, ovulation, and calcium absorption? Which hormone simulates the ovaries to release estrogen? Which hormone works with estrogen to prepare the endometrium for implantation of a fertilized egg? Which hormone simulates the production of testosterone in the interstitial cells? Which hormone causes release of progesterone? What hormones are secreted by the ovaries? Which pair of hormones are secreted by the testes?
What hormone is responsible for thickening of the uterine lining and helps sustain pregnancy? Which of the following hormones maintains female secondary sexual characteristics? These are the following reference. This is all for our week one for our third quarter. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.